UFC comes here, something special happens. UFC 192, obviously, an epic title fight between you and Alexander Gustafson. UFC 166, one of the greatest fight cards of all time. Houston's got another one in store tonight. Tonight you have a chance to make your own history. We saw Melendez versus Sanchez. Me and Gustafson put on a show there. Velasquez and Dos Santos put on a show there. Will you be remembered as we have at the Toyota Center? Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will put a shot that you can come. that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Right on the button. Powerful leg kick lands. Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. there with a punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. There's the kick. It's blocked. Nope. 
glove on that foot. No glove. No <laughs> Round two here. Shooting for the takedown here. Particularly when it comes to landing those hooks. I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to the year one. I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific one. Because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, and it's landing with more force, and his opponent starts to wear down. So I will not be surprised to see another one that ends the fight. Way to hide that leg kick. That's right. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Visibly limping here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, tagged him again with the flush left hand. Remain in the round. Strong ground work here, staying busy. Oh, these are some serious punches from the top here. He's keeping a good posture and making these strikes. He's doing a really good job of watching the three of them. He's making his while not putting himself in danger. That right hand hurt him a little bit. 
All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the box. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Ten minutes. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlights. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. again with a right punch. Right, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down the very scary position for the opponent. Ooh. Well, a lot of debilitating leg kicks have landed. Tonight. You see that left eye starting to show signs of bruising. He has a commitment to make it tonight, and Just misses with the straight left hand. Ooh, head kick landing hurt. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, clock left, hands up, chin down. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. opponent here a little bit he's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him later you'll see him start to counter after blocking shots well anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter you're potentially playing with fire crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here and if you're the opponent you've got to intelligently defend or the referee will stop the gotta defend but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows he doesn't like that left hand. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad.